You are welcome to Cup of Faith of Yaba Baptist Church, Lagos, with the church pastor, Reverend Dr. Bayo Sola Aremu. God bless you as you listen. Praise be to the Almighty Father for the blessings of another day. May you be enriched with God's abundant goodness today, in Jesus' name. For our meditation today is the topic, The Blessings of the Latter Rain. The text is from Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 14 and 15, and it says, Then I will send rain on your land in its season, both autumn and spring rains, so that you may gather in your grain new wine and olive oil. Hallelujah. As pointed out in the last edition, as important as the former rain is, it is not sufficient to bring about a good harvest. Without the latter rain, there can't be a bountiful harvest. The blessings of the latter rain are inexhaustible, some of which are identified below. The first to be mentioned is that the latter rain brings restoration. In other words, when God's rain of blessings begins to fall, people experience great restoration. If you have before now lost anything, this is the very season for recovery, replacement, and restoration. In Joel chapter 2 verse 25, the Lord says, I will restore to you the years that the swami locust has eaten. If you pay close attention, you will discover that this promise was given in the context of God giving the former and latter rains as in Joel chapter 2 verse 23. The implication of this is that this month you can expect God's blessings of restoration. You can recover, you can retrieve, and you can recuperate. Whatever you have lost can be restored by the blessing of the latter rain. Spiritually speaking, the early rain can represent the blessings and miracles the early church experienced. Acts chapter 5 verses 14 to 16 tells us that the sick who were brought to the temple were all healed. If that could happen with the early rain, how much more the latter rain? You can believe and trust God for supernatural healing this month. Part of the blessings of the latter rain is that it brings about a blessed family life. In Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 21, a few verses after God talks about the latter rain, the scripture says that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give them, like the days of the heavens above the earth. It is obvious that many homes are passing through struggles. There are pressures from the left and from the right. When the latter rain falls, such pressures and struggles are terminated. The latter rain equally brings increased anointing. According to Joel chapter 2 and verse 2, it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. When the latter rain falls on a man, all the creaking hinges and tight gears are lubricated by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and things begin to work smoothly and efficiently. Beloved of God, the outpouring of the latter rain makes a lot of difference. The list is endless of its blessings. Therefore, lift up your voice right now and ask God for the latter rain. I pray for you today. May you be wet, soaked, and drenched with the latter rain in the name of Jesus. You will not miss out on the season of the latter rain. The Lord will pour out His abundant blessings upon you. He will satisfy you with every good thing you desire. This season, you will experience great miracles and assorted blessings. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. To have a blessed day, Christ is the answer. 
We believe you've been blessed by the message from the throne of grace. For further inquiries, prayer, and counseling, kindly contact 0907-799-6648. That's 0907-799-6648. The church is located at 19 Stroke 23 Commercial Avenue, Raymond Street, Sabo Yaba, Lagos. We meet on Sundays by 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays by 6 p.m. Join us same time right here on Every Other Day. Christ is the answer to all human needs. Thanks for listening.